Welcome to the free monthly tarot scopes. Be sure to check your rising and moon for more details and visit hickeyverley.com for personal readings, decks, books, t-shirts, art, and more. Thank you for all your continued support, including donating, liking, commenting, sharing. Now without further ado, on to your free reading. Hi everyone, Vicki Verley here. For those of you not familiar, that intro was in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so I thought that that would be more befitting the Rock and Roll Prophetess. I want to talk, do a few announcements so I don't have to keep repeating myself in the readings because there's so much to talk about in the readings. We have Jupiter going into Scorpio on 1010, which is a magical number. And the first thing I want to just note that this month on my Lots of Love reading that focused specifically on Love on Vimeo, this is the uh, Morgan Greer tarot deck. We'll be using the good old uh, Morgan Greer, this backing. You can hardly see it. And then, of course, the Lots of Love, which also blend into my cloth here. Uh, but the other thing is I'm going to incorporate some astrology bonus into that one, too. Talk about Jupiter. And then also Venus and Mars is traveling together, so I'll be talking about that in all the love readings this month. Uh, another new announcement, I've started the Amazon tea shop and I wanted to just show you a couple of the t-shirts. I ordered a few just to see what the print quality is, and it's very, very nice print quality. Now this is your standard, like, silk screen type of t-shirt. I wasn't concerned about this, but I did want to order a few of these different color ones to see how they would turn out, and I'll tell you, I'm very happy with how the color turned out. Um, I, there's a few of the tarot cards. I ordered one of the moon, and then I ordered uh, one of the star in purple. And the color is perfect and great. You know, sometimes on t-shirt, these types of designs aren't going to really turn out. And then lastly, of course, this was the one I was really worried about, is the uh, Divine Goddess. And it turned out beautiful. The colors are just beautiful. The sizes run a little small, so if you're going to order and you like them loose like I do, you may want to order a size up. Uh, they come in a variety of colors. Um, I'm have, there's a process, so I'm adding them slowly. Right now I only have Libra. I have the Zodiac ones up, just Libra. And I'll be getting all 12 zodiac, zodiac signs up, and I'll be adding T-shirts all the time. But I just wanted to, you know, show you. I was so happy with the quality. Look at how great the color just really turned out. Beautiful. So if you're interested, it's another way to help support the free readings on these channels. Um, I, if you, you're not in the U.S., unfortunately, Amazon won't ship to you, but you can do a shipping forwarding company such as MyUS.com, but I don't necessarily recommend that one. Okay, now that all the announcements are out of the way, let's get on to the readings. Hello there Sagittarius and thanks for joining me for October 2017's reading. Now on you guys I'm going to be talking about Jupiter as we shuffle the cards because Jupiter, and this month more than ever it's important to check your rising sign at least uh, because with the astrology uh, coming in there, um, Jupiter's moving in your 12th house. Now I'm Scorpio rising so I just went through this and I was kind of a hermit during that time. Uh, so you may find yourself being kind of a hermit. That's one of the side effects. But kind of figuring a lot of things out and getting a lot of things done. And really needing more time to kind of charge your batteries. You know, go, this is like for the next year, whereas Jupiter's in your, in your sign. And Jupiter is your ruling planet as Sagittarius. So you guys might feel it, uh, you know, more than some of the other signs, possibly. One more card. Um, reflection, solitude, peace, you're going to need more, more downtime to recuperate, you know. Um, things are though, insights will come to you. You can figure a lot of things out with Jupiter in the 12. You can make a plan, you can figure it out, you can, you can get a clear picture of which way to go or what to do. So that's like for the coming year, it's going to be, you know, if... For many of you, it won't even be in your 12th house for another month or two, depending on how your chart is. But, you know, it's just a, a little tidbit about Jupiter. I did talk about Jupiter and Venus and Mars in this month's uh, love readings, if you want to take a look at that. Boy, but the central card here for you is the Ten of Pentacles. So that's some money. You know, that's financial gain, prosperity. This is the highest money card in the deck here. And next to it, you've got the Six of Pentacles. Below it, you've got the Page of Pentacles. Over here, you've got the Sun card. You know, so the sun is like, you know, explosion of light, beaming, glowing, you know, wondrous uh, things are coming your way. And you've got the Page of Pentacles. You know, these guys have been out in a few different cards. And when I'm off camera, I take them out and I shuffle them and shuffle them and shuffle them. And so I'm not, um, 
It's not that the cards aren't getting shuffled, but these two have been in a lot of people's readings, these two guys here. Or, well, sometimes I don't use the page as a person, but just a message. You know, the, all the young dudes carry the news, as I always used to say. So they're, they're bringing message, but he's bringing message of money. Now, these male, female, whatever, gender is not a thing in these readings if you've never um, saw these videos before. So these are just people, and none of them seem to be you. This seems to be an earth sign person, a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo. This seems to be a water sign person, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Now, because the sun card is here, it can mean that, um, you know, it's when the sun moves into Scorpio. And that's going to be this month, when the sun moves into water, which is Scorpio this time. And that's going to be on the 23rd. The sun will move into Scorpio on the 23rd. And um, then, you know, there's going to be a sun conjunct Jupiter on the 26th, too. So that could be around the end of the month here, when all this money shows up for you. Uh, the sun is also right next to the Earth sign person, too. So it could be telling us between the time of Earth and, and uh, water. So Earth would have been back in um, Virgo. And Virgo is late August or September time. So it might have been around then. Um, you know, it might have something might have come up right around then in September, and now it's really coming to fruition. This could be the time span of when the sun traveled from Earth to water. Okay, um, you're leaving something behind, but you're happy about it. You got death and the six of swords. Both of these are cards of leaving something behind, but happily, you know, happily ready to leave something behind and move on. This one in particular is the turbulent water. So he comes out of the turbulent water and heads toward the smoother sailing. You know, smoother sailing ahead is ahead. Got the justice card here. So that says justice is done. Whatever trials and tribulations that you had to go through, whatever, you, you know, rough waters that you had to guide or navigate through, justice is done. You're done with that. You're ready to move on. A lot of you, this could be an actual legal case for sure. You know, this might be an actual legal case, um, something having to do with some kind of money, legal settlement, some kind of large sum coming your way. So that, that would be nice, too. Or signing of some kind of a big contract here with the Jupiter. I mean, with the... Um, it's funny I said Jupiter, but it's justice. Um, some of you, you might have to relocate because of this. Or, you know, it might actually have to do with real traveling. You know, like... Um, maybe a tour. Maybe it's you could sign up to go on tour with somebody. You know, uh, it might be a tour. A tour gets confirmed and you're you're going. You know, you're going on the tour. Um, maybe it's um, you have to relocate to take this job or take this financial opportunity or this financial opportunity um, requires travel in, in general. You know, maybe your tour. You know, you're, you're taking people on a tour guy. You know, you're, 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 or you're touring somewhere um, at your company's um, beckoning. You know, your company is paying for you to go to these different cities and do this different thing. It might not be like your traditional, you think of entertainers going on tour or, you know, things like that. It, um, it may have to do with, you know, completely something else, you know, altogether. You, you might be a salesman, and you might be traveling from different city to city do, presenting your, um, you know, your little sales pitch or whatever. So it could be a lot of different things, but it's good, whatever it is. This is good, and you're up for it, and you're ready, and you're, it's just what you're wanting to do. Um, it doesn't say doctor anywhere, but I heard something about doctors. I thought I saw doctors, but there's going to be some doctor's good news for somebody, too. Huh. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but it, it is showing up here. So some of you might be getting some good news from a doctor, like a clean bill of health. And then you're just like, okay, cool. We can Now we can go do our vacation, or we can travel, or whatever. Or maybe whatever you need to do requires a health um, checkup, you know, a physical. Maybe some of you are going to join the military, you know, and you're going to be traveling through the military. And you have to pass the uh, physical, you know, in order to do that. But the travel part is kind of standing out pretty strong to me, you know. The, the, um, it's not really the most important thing in the spread if you just look at it from a tarot perspective, but it, it's really pulling me. 
it's really pulling me out. So I feel like for a lot of you that travel is going to be a thing. Okay, let's go ahead and get over here and get this uh, animal totem card for you guys. Sagittarius for October 2017. The spider. I've been seeing spiders all over. I got cool, these big uh, brown spiders always at this time of year. I got two or three of them have these giant webs on my porch and stuff. It's, it's just in time for Halloween. So I, I mean, I leave spiders alone all the time because they're beneficial creatures. Weaver of fate, creator of life, patient builder of sacred geometry, transcending time or space. All are joined in the wheel of life. Well, you know, the other thing that the spider represents connected to tarot cards is the wheel of fortune. So it's akin to the wheel of fortune. So that's fate and destiny. A lucky turn of events. The other thing that hit me the other day about the um, spider, though, I was looking at it, and uh, the one on my porch, <laughs> and um, the spider. If I if I remember, I'll put. I took a picture of it. I'll uh, I'll just put it up, but I don't know if I'll remember. Um, uh, I was gonna write down something over here. Um, to, 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 so I would try to remember to get that picture in there. They they set their web out, and then they wait. They're not running around doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that. They make the necessary preparations, and then they wait for the abundance to come to them. You know, they're not scattering all over until something gets in that web, then they scatter right over and get it real quick, you know, and wrap it up. But they, they sit and wait. They know that they've made a good web, they know that they've laid a good foundation, and then they trust that the universe is going to bring them lots of good bugs to eat, you know. They just sit in the middle and wait for a response. They're not frantically, you know, uh, like a squirrel is running all over trying to find nuts or a bee going from here to here or ants or always busy, busy, busy. Not the spider. The spider is a cool customer. <laughs> they just are in the middle of that web and they're just waiting. They know that they've constructed the the perfect web that's going to bring them the abundance and they're going to be provided for, you know. They're not worried about it. So it, it, you're going to be provided for, I feel, is another thing. And with uh, the spider, it's also like Wheel of Fortune, the timing is right. And between, think back to this August, September time, and now. feels like there's a connection here with the sun was transiting through the air and then into the water now. I mean, in, it's funny I said air, we're going to be in air this month. It's earth, air, water water later this month. Okay, everybody. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Please check out the Vimeo readings if you're interested in love. Uh, $2 and some change. I go into even Venus and Mars this month. You know, I've got the books, the decks, and of course the t-shirts. I'm excited about that. All that goes towards making these readings free because the YouTube earnings has really dropped dramatically for all YouTubers. Um, I'm still here. I'm still putting up the free readings every month by donating and, you know, picking up these little things. That, and you can even donate a buck or whatever. It all helps make the readings free. But it's by no means mandatory. I am putting these readings out as a free gift for everybody. But I do appreciate when you do reciprocate and, and the many ways that you do reciprocate. And it by, you know, the ones who can doing so, it just helps to make everything, you know, keep rolling. And, you know, you, you can donate, but also, you know, pick up a shirt. Pick up something fun for yourself. Yeah, buy a little gift for yourself or for somebody else. You get something out of it. I get something out of it. And everybody's happy, right? <laughs> Everybody benefits, just like the spider. We all benefit from the whole. We all are joined in the wheel of life. Okay. Hey, Sagittarius. Let's have a great month of October. Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate. Thanks for subscribing, liking, sharing. Have a great month. I'll speak to you next time.